Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be getting ready for my day. I'm helping out my parents move back into their newly renovated home and I just wanna feel put together. And I'm going to be using products that I have been feeling extra excited about, new and older things. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum in the shade 30. I have been the most excited about this product out of all of the new complexion products that have been coming out recently. This is the best wearing one for my skin type. It's been treating me really, really well. I start off by taking two pumps. I also really like how unique the product is. I really like how the pigment comes in these spheres. It just makes the application process a bit more exciting. Also, it's like a perfect shade match for my skin right now. I love the amount of coverage. It's perfect for every day. And it wears incredibly on my skin for this type of product, for a tinted serum. I actually prefer this one over a lot of my tinted moisturizers and sheerer foundations I have in my collection. Like I feel like this is giving my MAC face and body a run for its money. Like it does a similar thing, but it just wears on my oilier skin so much better. And I think this one is extra undetectable. I've just had such an incredible experience with this product so far and it just excites me so much. It's super impressive. I'm really happy I purchased this. I didn't expect to have this type of experience with this product, especially since I really disliked the Rose Ink Concealer. I wasn't expecting much from this launch, but uh, it truly blew me out of the water. I'm applying this with my Rose Beauty, what? I'm applying this with my Rare Beauty foundation brush. <laughs> I just got so offended that I messed up <laughs> there. And I'm, and I'm, a lot. And I'm applying this just over my skincare, my moisturizer, and my SPF. Now moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix in the shade 05 Butter. I used this a couple days ago and I haven't stopped since. I entered another little phase with this. It just adds the perfect amount of coverage, especially in combination with the Rose Ink Tinted Serum. It just brightens the under eye so perfectly without it looking like a mask under my eyes. I'm just spreading that out with my fingers just so I hit all the areas I want to correct. Um, and then I'm hitting it with my beauty blender. And every time I use this brown beauty blender, people get so weird in the comments. It's just a brown beauty blender, you guys. Now to set my under eyes so things don't start moving around, I'm going to be going in with my Pat McGrath uh, under eye powder and I'm always excited about this product, but I'm extra excited about it because I'm almost finished it and I feel like that's a big accomplishment. And I'm also very proud of myself for not like bumping this wrong or dropping it on the floor and shattering the rest that I have in here. So I'm gonna take my sponge. This one is actually dry today. I did this in Hawaii a lot the last time I was there and it looked so nice. So I'm packing a little bit of that powder right where my under eyes usually crease because of my, my natural lines I have down there. And I'm just gonna keep blending until the powder blends in. Now let's give my face a bit of dimension. I'm going to be first going in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade 01 Amber. So this is a, a very contoury color. Um, and I'm taking this Moda sculpt brush and I'm just going to put this into the hollows of my cheeks um, so I'm just gonna put it in around like an inch and a half pretty much the length of this brush I'm going to keep it at that to have the most natural looking chisel without adding any more product I'm gonna add it to my jaw I only ever put contour colors down here because if you put bronzer down there and you step out into daylight, it's gonna look very noticeable. Like you'll have a bronzer chin strap and it won't look natural at all. Like I say, you'll only get tanned down there if you're tanning upside down on a monkey bar or something. But using a contour color, it mimics shadow. So it looks less um, obvious. And I'm always blending it backwards instead of blending it forward, 
just because I really want to concentrate it right in the hollows of my cheekbones. And now to complete that step, I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. I'm using the shade 02 Medium. I have been really loving the combo of these two. It's fun to do like a little bit of contouring and bronzing at the same time. I usually just go straight in with bronzer, but I, I've been liking the additional step. And I'm using my Moda Blending Fan Brush. And when I apply my bronzers, I always go on top of my actual cheekbone to give like a more natural effect and it also lifts the cheek up. And I add it on to my chin because whenever I get a little bit of a tan, my chin gets, gets a little bit bronzed. I don't really have a highlighter that I've been extra excited about recently but this one excited me today when I was pulling out the products for today's video. This is the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Color in the shade Elegance. It's just such a fun formula. It's super liquidy, but it dries down to kind of a powdery state. Not even, it just dries down perfectly and it doesn't budge all day, but it still looks like a nice natural liquid product on the tops of your cheekbones. It's really lovely. It's also very quick to apply since it's such a thin formula. You just need to do a couple taps with your fingertips. It's a touch dark for my skin where it's at right now. It used to just meld right into my skin tone, but uh, it does have a touch of an undercast, which it's okay because I'm going to go in with blush over here. And today I felt very excited about this blush. I've just been loving my Glow Play blushes again from MAC and today I'm going to be going in with the shade So Natural. I get excited for a different blush every day you guys. I love to switch up the blushes. I gotta keep it fair with my collection. I don't want any of them to feel lonely. So I'm using my Quo Beauty foundation brush. It's keeping intact. It's fine. I didn't even have to glue it. I just shoved it really hard in there and it's fine. I think I destroyed a couple of my brushes last time I was washing them. Because sometimes I like to soak my brushes in like a soapy solution for a couple minutes just to really help like cream products and foundations detach from the bristles before washing them. It just makes it a lot easier, but I accidentally forgot that I was leaving them in their solution bath for like a little bit too long, and a little bit too long I mean like a couple hours. So I think it really screwed up the glue from the handle to the ferrule. I forget my brush anatomy. There, perfect. Now the highlighter doesn't look too dark. That's such a cute color. So we now reached your favorite time of my videos. It's time for me to do my brows and prime my lids off camera. Please enjoy the kitten intermission. So now for my eyes, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to combine two things that I have been loving recently. So the About Face Loose Glitters have been a huge favorite as of recent, and I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, this has been a favorite of mine for a very, very long time. And um, I wanted to layer one of these loose glitters over the cream products. I feel like that'll be really pretty. I love how dimensional these are, and they have such gorgeous shifts. Wow, that was a tongue twister for me today. Gorgeous shifts. Close enough. Um, I think I'm going to be using the shade Out of Body. It's uh, like a nice golden shade, but there's also some green and some pink. It's really pretty. Uh, but my favorite shade so far has been Saint Ceremony. I used this the first time I tried these out. This one's so pretty. It has like that blue and violet and like this deeper pink in it. Oh, I love, love that one. Um, so I'm first going to be taking the lighter shade of the two creams in here. So this one right here, I think it's called Lady. I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit. I feel like my camera's starting to give up on me or Rob Beauty Christie handed me her curse. And every time I zoom you guys in super close, I turn orange. It's kind of rude. I have to figure something out with my camera. I'm also thinking about getting a different lighting system which would be really fun because sometimes late at night i just want to film and talk to you guys so i think that'd be fun but still have the option to use natural lighting too but i'm gonna have to put in some research about that that idea really excites me anyways i'm gonna put this on my eyeball this is a melt cosmetics tapered shadow 33 brush it's kind of like a flat brush i'm first going to really work it onto my lids this is where i want the most pigmentation
And with that, I'm going to try blending this into the crease. I am going to implement some of the powder shades afterwards, but I just want that loose glitter to have something to really stick down to. These loose glitters are incredible because they do stick onto your eyelids really well without having to use any sort of cream or glitter primer or anything. They're almost like a, a loose pigment in that sense, how they just really adhere. So I'm now going to tap some of this pigment into the cap. I also really like how it has a tight sifter, so it only takes a little bit out at a time and you're not left with like a cloud of glitter everywhere. I'm going to moosh my finger in there to disperse. Oh my God, that was so pretty. Look at that. Okay, this one has bigger particles of glitter, it looks like, from the other one I've been loving. So I'm first touching down right in the center. That's the only football term I will ever use. I don't know why I said that but I'm tapping down into the center and then I'll kind of scatter some into the inner portion here. Same on the outer. But I think it's always pretty to really enhance the center. Now I'm taking this little ColourPop E10 brush with that same Lady Cream shade. Major regret saying that. And I'm gonna put this all over my lower lash line. Now I'm taking a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to take this lighter transition shade right here. I think it's even called transition. Yeah, it is. This one right here. This is a Smith 232. And maybe to enhance the outer corner just a little bit more, I'm going to use the, or maybe this red shade would be cooler. I'm going to use this one today. Cute. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat it on this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are both eyes done. I love the reflect. But now for my mascara, I wanted to give this one another shot. It's the Max Stack Mascara. Oh, my mom's calling me, one sec. Anyways, this mascara was so fun the other day. This is going to be my second time using it and I wanted to wear it today to see how it wore on a more physical exerting day. Like, even the first coat looks like my second coat of most mascaras. You see what I mean? It's so pretty. And it's really quick to apply. Oh no. Look at my iris, you guys. I got a huge clump of mascara right on it. I'm so scared to blink. Look at that. <laughs> my contact. Whoa. My contact is back in. Let's uh, add a second coat. Wow, okay. I think two coats is good for my day today. Okay, with this eye look, you can see much more clearly the effect on my lashes. I think that's pretty incredible. So now for my lips, these are the two products I'm going to be using today. So I'm first going to line my lips up with the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Pencil. And then I'm going to be going in with the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Bronze Glow. This is such a classic lip liner color. I feel like it's such a universal lip liner for my skin tone. It just tends to suit most lip colors. I find it very flattering for my lip border. And this is so fun because it makes my lips look so nice and juicy, but it reminds me so heavily of the um, M Cosmetics lip cushions because it adds that beautiful glossy glow. But I really love how there's like a fine little glitter in here, so it reflects the light even more. And it has such a nice slippy texture, and it's such a pretty color. And it suits this look so perfectly. I'm excited about it. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, I feel cute. I feel very cute today. <laughs> I'm just going to let my bangs down, and I'll be right back for a final look at the look. Also, I forgot to mention that these don't burn your lips. It just makes them feel cool. Not like in a minty way though. It's just kind of cooling and it feels nice. So here is the finished final makeup look. I'll bring you guys in a little bit so you can see how things are sitting. Um, I think everything's sitting pretty. I'm excited to go see my family again. 
it's been a long time since we've been kind of all together. I'm excited to help them get settled. But I really hope you enjoyed today's chiller. Get ready with me using a lot of products I've been excited about. Let me know a couple products that you've been extra excited about in the comments. That'd be really fun to start. But that's going to be it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll of course link all of the products I used in today's video in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.